Hello, this is Chris from Palatech, and in this video we are going to learn how to add an image slider to our Wix site. To do that, we need to go here to the top, and where it says Edit Site, we are going to click on that. There we go, now we are going to the left and click on the Add button, and we are going to Galleries, and we are going to select Slider Galleries. So we have a few models, for the example, we are going to use a slider with arrows. We are going to click, drag, and then we are going to release it on the side. Then we have a few options. We can change the image. We have a few example images. We can go here to settings and we can add new images to the start of the gallery, the end, or after a selected image like this one. We are going to choose after the end of the gallery and we can add them with wheeled titles or with current titles. We are going to use wheeled titles and then we are going to add an image and then we are going to select one of our image. In this case we are going to use the media from Wix and we are going to go with this one right here, add to gallery. And now we have 30 image for the slider. Now we have a few things on the image info section. We have title, which is extremely important for the search engine optimization. All your image must have an alt text. It's a must do. Then you can add a description to your image and, and, add, and add a link to it. So we are going to click on done. And then we have settings. And we can select to show the navigation arrows, add a play button to our slider. We are going to click that. And then we are going to select how long it will take to change between the image. In this case, two seconds, we are going to use one second. And we can select to auto play unloading. Now, how do image behave? Now, auto crop will crop the image to fit the container or fit. It will change it like this to fit the container as well. So we, when click it, they open in a pop-up. A link opens or nothing happens. And to apply a transition effect is the way the image is going to change. Vertical, horizontal, crossfade, or out or in. So we are going to go with this one right here. There we go. On how long this effect will last? One second. And where do they start from? Right or from the left? And then we have the design. Here we can change between the different designs of the slider galleries. And we can go to custom design. And we have a few options as well but now we are going to use this one and we are going to go to fill color and opacity on the text box white to a 770 percent opacity then we can add borders like this change the color and opacity of the borders as well give it corners in this case we are not going to give it corner but it will round the edge a bit we can add a shadow to it and we can change the angle the distance the size and the blur and the color of the shadow and for the text we can change the the color we are going to use this blue right here the theme we are going to use a paragraph 2 we can change the font we can add change the font manually or we'll add some boldness maybe to it and the font on the description, we are going to use a paragraph 3. And we are going to select a, an italic. Then we are going to close. And we can add an, an animation to the gallery if we want to show up with a bounce and like that. And we are going to stretch to the full width of the site. There we go. Now we are going to click on preview and see how our slider works. We can move the arrows, we can see the, the effect. But we could go here and click on the play button and it will start to move on its own 
between one second intervals. Now we have our alt text here and the description of our image with the italic and the bold as we had choose. So that's it, we have learned how to add an image slider to our website in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on that site. See you the next time on Paletech.